What's up guys? This is Captain Tyler with Real Flirty and Fishing and I had an idea for an experiment um, so I wanted to give it a shot. So here's my family's mango tree. Um, it's producing a few mangoes but not many. They don't seem super, I don't know, I'm not a tree expert but they don't seem super healthy. Um, they're also small right now but just the tree just isn't producing many mangroves or mangoes, sorry. Um, so I have all these fish carcasses from our fishing trip yesterday and usually I like to throw the carcasses back in the ocean so that other fish can eat them but I, I can't throw them in the trash. I feel terrible throwing fish away in the trash because then it's getting wasted. I don't like wasting what mother nature gives us so I want to give back or give it back to the environment somehow some way so I've heard that if you put um, a dead fish near a tree it helps nourish the tree um, the tree will utilize the energy and you know kind of like fertilizer so I'm gonna lay some of these carcasses around um, some trees in our yard this is my family's yard where I grew up tree house kind of a mess chicken coop and then our house there um, and I'm just gonna you know do a little experiment and do some before and after shots because we're going on a camping trip today actually um, so I just got these fish cleaned up ditched these carcasses and then we're gonna go camping and flats fishing up in um, Sebastian Florida while this coronavirus epidemic is happening we're gonna be social distancing doing some camping so anyways I'm gonna take these carcasses here they are in a nice Publix bag um, we've got you know nice porgies um, all kinds of all kinds of carcasses here and so I'm gonna, like I said, spread them out amongst um, different trees and see how it goes. Alright guys, so um, here I am and here is a nice porgy carcass. Here's our mango tree. I'm just going to go ahead and lay this guy right under the tree like that. Um, I may come back with a shovel and bury it. I feel like it should get a little lower down there. Okay, here's a bag of fish. Um, here's another porgy from yesterday and we've got you know, we had a garden here. It's kind of overgrown and not been taken care of. So big old garden, nothing much except we found this little tomato plant. And it doesn't look very happy. So I'm gonna put a fish here for this tomato plant. And see if we're gonna see some before and after pictures. See this tomato, one little tomato. Looks like it's dying. But I'm gonna lay this fish here. And after my camping trip, we're gonna come back and check on it and check on the rest of these trees and how they look. All right, guys, we're back from camping with the fam and we're here at my house. This is my mommy and our little puppy, Eve. She's super sweet. And this is my dog, Jax. He's a lover. And we're gonna go see how those dead fish fertilize that mango tree and those tomatoes. So, mom, before... You picked those tomatoes the other day? Hey, you stay. You stay. Jax, I'm filming a video. So, again, this is just an experiment. I have no proof or actual knowledge that it helped this tree out at all, but the mangoes definitely look bigger and um, are starting to ripen. There's also a lot more popping up. Um, these weren't there before, and this tree actually hasn't sprouted mango, uh, mangoes in years. I think like f three or four years because we trimmed it a little too much or something, and it just didn't sprout. But um, like I said, the mangoes are looking a lot better. It's only been a few days, and you can see where I had that fish. It looks like it's either been taken by animals or... Um, the trees actually utilize some of the nutrients. And let's see. 
Okay, so here's where I threw the other fish. As you can see, it's been completely weed eated because it was a big weed pit. The garden kind of took over, the weeds kind of took over the garden. Oh, here it is. Wow. Looks a lot bigger. Definitely healthier. Before, the tips were all brown. Now they're green. The tomato is looking big. It's so big, it, the tree can't even hold it up. So, I think that the fish helped the tomato. Um, okay, well, that concludes my experiment, and we will see you guys in the next episode. What's he doing? Huh? What's he doing? <laughs>